More now on our breaking news. The Resilience New South Wales Government Agency is reportedly set to be dismantled and the state's disaster response to be restructured. Adam Walters has been following this story. Adam, why is this happening? Danica, it's basically because of shocking underperformance by Resilience New South Wales exposed by a select New South Wales Parliamentary Upper House Committee in recent hearings in the Northern Rivers, which, of course... Uh, was hit devastatingly hard earlier this year with two major floods hitting the major regional centre of Lismore. The performance of Resilience New South Wales in formulating a response to the needs of those thousands of people left without a home and left to suffer the economic damage of the floods has been under severe scrutiny. Now, Shane Fitzsimmons was appointed to the role of Resilience Commissioner by the former Premier Gladys Berejiklian in April 2020. He set up an agency which received a massive amount of funding, over $1 billion, yet serious questions were raised about the extent to which that budget was utilised in a practical way that would help those thousands of flood victims in northern New South Wales. We heard horror stories of Resilience New South Wales being so thin on the ground that local volunteer councillors had to deal with the trauma suffered by those people hit with the floods. Sky News also exposed the failure of Resilience New South Wales under Shane Fitzsimmons to introduce a communication system which was, to meant, which was designed rather to streamline the response to major emergencies such as bushfires and flooding. That system known as BART, B-A-R-T, was embraced by the Rural Fire Service by Mr Fitzsimmons' successor, Bob Rogers, and so, much, and so much of that was explained to the 2020 Federal Government Royal Commission into the natural disaster response across Australia. Mr Rogers at the time said they'd embraced this technology which overcame the problem of communications, conventional communications, collapsing in the event of a disaster. Now, Shane Fitzsimmons' role since has been very controversial. He's been very highly paid. He's been criticised for not being hands-on enough in dealing with the emergencies we've witnessed this year. In fact, at one stage, Resilience New South Wales was described as a nine-to-five operation, which drew much criticism because of the nature of uh, disasters. They, they have no schedule, and yet Resilience New South Wales was working to the Bundy clock. That's just one of the criticisms levelled at the agency. Another was the interrogation to which flood victims had been subjected in northern New South Wales, forced to relive the trauma and basically prove to Resil Resilience New South Wales that they qualified for emergency funding. So none of this is coming as a great surprise, especially to those MPs on the Upper House Committee who have been ferocious in their line of questioning about the response of this controversial agency under the leadership of Shane Fitzsimmons. It certainly is a significant development. Adam Walters, thank you for that update.